Over my lifetime of campaigning, I've been assaulted over 300 times. Nearly all the teeth in my mouth have been chipped and cracked, and they've had to be reconstructed by dental surgeons. My doctor's warning is, you've had enough head injuries to last several people a lifetime. Don't get any more. Of course, I'd love to have an easier life. But sometimes when people in power refuse to listen, when they won't understand the case for equality and justice, you have to up the ante and some people don't like it. I am hitting a raw nerve. And when it comes to prejudice and intolerance, we need to hit a raw nerve. Bermondsey is the by-election the Labour Party never wanted. Even if their official candidate wins, it will have created the maximum embarrassment for the It was a baptism of hell. I had over 150 assaults while out canvassing, bricks and bottles through the window, and even a bullet posted through my front door. I'd like to thank the returning officer. After the Bermondsey by-election, when the torrent of homophobia was revealed, I'd resolved that I had to do more to fight for LGBT plus rights. We took a decision to go to Canterbury Cathedral on Easter Sunday in 1998 to call out the Archbishop because for eight years we tried to meet him. So it was a last desperate measure. Of course, as a result, I was arrested and eventually charged and convicted. Putin sanctioned the 2013 law. Every time I'm so nervous. My body temperature plummets, I get goose pimples. The fear of not succeeding, but also the fear of being beaten up and arrested and possibly even jailed. Uh, I've got bundles of energy and I want to carry on campaigning at least for another 25 years.